This is what example 1 looks like before finding the equation of the axis of symmetry. The equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals the x-coordinate of the vertex. The x-coordinate of our vertex was 3 quarters. So the equation of our axis of symmetry is x equals 3 quarters. This is a vertical line that goes up and down through the graph crossing the x-axis at 3 quarters. I will draw it. And I will label it x equals 3 quarters. The equation of the axis of symmetry has to be an equation. It has to have an equal sign. You can't just write 3 quarters. You have to write x equals 3 quarters on the graph to get the marks. This is what example 1 looks like after finding the equation of the axis of symmetry. This is what example 2 looks like before finding the equation of the axis of symmetry. To find the equation of the axis of symmetry, we need to know the x-coordinate of our vertex. The x-coordinate of our vertex is 5 fourths. The equation of axis of symmetry is x equals 5 fourths. Now we're going to draw it on the graph. The equation of the axis of symmetry is always a vertical line that goes up and down through the vertex. And we always draw that line with a dotted line. Also, we make sure to label the equation of axis of symmetry on the graph. x equals 5 fourths is written on the graph. Don't just write 5 fourths. Make sure you put x equals 5 fourths because an equation has to have an equal sign. This is what example 2 looks like after finding the equation of the axis of symmetry. This is what example 3 looks like before finding the equation of the axis of symmetry. To find the equation of the axis of symmetry for example 3, all we need to know is the x-coordinate of the vertex. The x-coordinate of our vertex is 1 half. So the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals 1 half. Let's put this on our graph. The axis of symmetry is a line that goes straight up and down through the vertex. We always show the axis of symmetry as a dotted line, and we label it with its equation right on the graph. The equation is x equals a half, so I write x equals one half. This is how you find the equation of axis of symmetry for example three. This is what example three looks like after finding the equation of the axis of symmetry. This is what example 4 looks like before finding the equation of the axis of symmetry. To find the equation of the axis of symmetry of example 4, we need to know the x-coordinate of the vertex. The x-coordinate of the vertex is 2. Therefore, the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals 2. Let's put this onto our graph. The axis of symmetry is a vertical line that goes up and down through the vertex. So I draw a vertical line going through my vertex. I make sure to use a dotted line because this is the way it's supposed to be expressed on the graph. And I make sure to label that line on the graph with the equation. Not just the two, but the whole equation. 
there is my equation of the axis of symmetry for example 4. This is what example 4 looks like after finding the equation of the axis of symmetry.